Hi guys! Welcome to Creatively Homemade. My name is Jennifer and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you're new to my channel, I love to share fun and creative paper crafting projects from handmade card ideas to memory keeping to party favors and other 3D items. So today I have for you this cute little die cut stocking card. So adorable. Now all week long I am featuring the tags and trimming stamp set and the coordinating trim your stocking dies. So that is what I used to make this card today. It's super easy to put together. It just involves a special little die cutting technique that I'm going to show you. And before I forget, I also wanted to mention that you want to stay tuned to the end of the video because today I'm going to give you a sneak peek of one of the fun stamp sets that you can earn during celebrations starting in January. So make sure you watch to the end. So let's get started and I will show you how easy it is to make this card. So the first thing you need to do is to cut your cardstock. I have a piece of real red cardstock here that is eight inches by six and a half inches. I also have a piece of whisper white cardstock that is two inches by three and a half inches. Then you're also going to need some scraps. You're going to need a scrap of garden green, you're going to need a scrap of quilted Christmas, and you're going to need a scrap of whisper white. So you can set aside this piece for now. Put the long edge of your real red up at the top of your scoreboard or your paper trimmer with a scoring blade and you want to score it at four inches. Okay, so then fold that in half and you can use a bone folder to make that edge crisp. That's going to help it when it runs through the die cut machine. So I'm going to put this away and we are ready to do some die cutting. So I'm going to grab my die cut machine and get set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my die cut machine and I've pulled out my trim your stocking die set. And you're going to need the stocking itself. You're going to need the heel and the toe pieces. You're going to need this little piece of greenery trim. And you're going to need the cuff. So let's start with that folded piece. Okay, set these other ones aside. I'm going to show you how to um, line up your die so that this folded piece comes out intact after you run it through your die cut machine. So you want to line that up so the fold is just inside the cutting line. You can kind of push it up against the edge and feel that it's not going up there on that fold just like that then put your plate on and run it through now when you pop that piece out you have the fold intact. And you can do that with a lot of different dies if you want to make a die cut shaped card. So next we are going to cut out the little accent pieces. So I've got a little piece of gingham uh, green from the Quilted Christmas and I'm going to use that to cut out the heel and toe. They stuck to my machine there. We're going to need that little greenery die and your scrap of garden green cardstock and cut that piece out. Oops. And then you also need that scrap of whisper white cardstock to cut out the cuff piece. Now don't put your die cut machine away yet. We have one more little bit to do. 
I want to add some embossing to the front of this card. So I've got my multi-purpose plate out, the platform. You want to turn that to tab one. That is the tab that you use for embossing. And I have grabbed a star embossing folder. You can use any embossing folder that you'd like. We actually have a really cute um, cable knit embossing folder in our holiday catalog that would look really cute on this stocking. I don't have that, unfortunately. So you just want to slide your stocking piece in over the edge there of the embossing folder. So this back edge is not going to be embossed. So close that folder up, put it on your plate and make your standard sandwich like you do with dies and then run that through. So then when you pull that out of your embossing folder, you'll see the front is really cute and embossed and the back section of it is not and easy way to emboss just one part of your card is to leave half of it outside of the embossing folder. So I'm going to set my die cut machine aside because we're done with that and I will be back to show you how to make the rest of the card. Okay so next I want to do some stamping. I'm going to stamp a little greeting up on the stocking cuff and I'm also going to stamp Merry Christmas on this piece that's going to go on the inside of the card. So for the um, cuff of the stocking, I'm using the Celebrate the Season stamp from the Tags and Trimmings stamp set. So I already have that on a block. I'm just going to ink that up with black ink. You could use red or green if you'd like, though. I have just pulled out my black. And stamp that right on the middle of the cuff. It's pretty easy to line up. Just like that. And then I've also pulled out a Merry Christmas stamp from the Better Together stamp set. This has a variety of different greetings and it's good to use for all sorts of card making occasions. So that one's a great one to have in your stamp library. So I have the mount Merry Christmas stamp mounted and I'm just going to stamp that at the top of this um, two inch by three and a half inch piece of Whisper White cardstock. And like I said, that's going to go on the inside of our card. So that's it for the stamping. Okay, so now we have all our pieces prepared and we are ready to assemble our card. The first thing we need to do is a bit of surgery on our um, stocking piece here. This stocking piece, I know it's hard to tell, but there is a little score line right at the top here. This die set will also make pillow boxes. You have this is the back piece and this is the front. So up here, this folded area um, folds down to make the flap of the pillow box. Well, for making a card, we don't need that, so we're going to cut it away. Um, so there is a faint score line on the piece we cut out. So I am just going to cut that away because we don't need it. And you just follow along that score line and cut it away so it's just like that. So let's start by first putting that insert inside of our card. Just adding some adhesive to the back here and centering that on the inside and that will give you a spot to write since this paper is a little bit darker. Now for the front, let's start with putting the Celebrate the Season cuff down. And um, since this is an embossed piece and it has texture, I recommend using Fast Fuse. That's going to stick down a little bit better than the standard tape runner and give you a little bit better hold. So line that up just like so. Now you want to turn it over because it's going to overhang a little bit because of, since we cut that on the fold it's a little bit shorter than the other pieces. So it's no big deal, just trim that little extra off. Now we're going to go ahead and add the heel and toe pieces. The bigger one is the toe. So 
so that goes right at the end there. Now you can use any design you'd like. I thought the, the gingham print went really well with the red, so I like that. But that Quilted Christmas um, Designer Series Paper Pack has so many cute patterns. You could make so many combinations using that. And then just line up your heel, press that down. And then the last thing we're going to do is add this little greenery piece. And I'm going to do that right beneath the cuff, just like so. Now for intricate pieces like this, I found the best adhesive to use is our fine tip glue pen. It allows you to get into really small little spaces, if you can see that tip. So I'm just going to add this glue all over. Okay, and pick it up with try without trying to get whoops glue all over my hand or flip it over like I just did. Whoops. <laughs> and then I'm kind of lining the stem up with the edge of the cuff. Now one trick about when you use uh, fine tip glue on textured pieces like this, you want to make sure that's truly stuck down. So I take a mounting block and just press it on top of it and let that sit there for a minute or two and then that'll help it adhere better. So here are our finished cards. I showed you how to make the red one but it's easy to flip flop the colors and make one in green. Super cute. If you'll see up here at the top I use different trims. These are both um, dies from that die set. I really love this die set. There are so many cute embellishments that you could use for these stockings. So I didn't use anything on here because I have used the embossing. But you could certainly put like a cute little snowflake in the middle or whatever you like. The possibilities are endless with this die set. So before I go, I thought I would show you some other ways to decorate these cards. Um, for this one, I used designer series paper for the background, and I used red for the heel, toe, and cuff, and then I used that little cute pom-pom trim, and then I used whisper white for the base on that one. And then here's another one where I used red cardstock for the base, but then I stamped. Um, that Tags and Trimming stamp set has a cute little snowflake background that you can just stamp it random all over your card and make a cute little pattern. So that's another fun idea for using um, that bundle for this card idea. Now as I promised at the beginning of the video, I did want to give you a really quick sneak peek of a celebration stamp set. If you are not familiar with our celebration promotion, it starts January 3rd and it runs through March 31st. And this brochure is full of fun stamp sets and other things that you can earn for free. So how Celebration works is that for every $50 purchase you make, you get to choose one item from this catalog and they will send it to you for free. So that's so much fun and it's a great way to get a lot of free paper crafting products. So I wanted to show you a sneak peek today. This is one of the stamp sets that you can earn for free. It's called Heartfelt Blooms. I got to see this in action at um, on the onstage convention back in November. Oh my goodness, guys. The realism on the stamp set is just amazing. Look how intricate that is. It's so gorgeous. I can't, can't wait to play with this. I just got it yesterday. Now you might be wondering how I managed to get my hands on this stamp set early since most people can't get it until after January 3rd. One of the perks of joining Stampin' Up! is that you get access to new products about a month before everyone else does. You get access to the new catalogs and all the new items. Now Joining Stampin' Up! is easy. You just purchase the starter kit. Uh, the starter kit is $99 and that lets you pick out $125 of product of your choice. They have no set starter kit. You get to pick out whatever you want, including items from the occasions catalog that's coming up. And there's no obligation to sell. Lots of people just join Stampin' Up! and purchase that starter kit so they can get a 20% discount on all their Stampin' Up! items. You don't ever have to sell anything, so don't worry about that. 
but it's a great way to save money. And that starter kit, you get $26 in free product right off the bat, and you also get free shipping. So if you're going to be placing a large order anyway, it's a great way to save some money, and you don't ever have to sell anything if you don't want. So if you have any questions about joining, be sure to leave a comment below. I would be happy to talk with you about that further. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know which version of the cards you prefer. Do you like the embossed card, the stamped card, or the designer series paper card? I'd love to hear from you and hear your opinions. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial and you would like to make these cards, be sure to check out my description box below. I have links to where you can purchase the items. And if you liked this video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy crafting!